So, I'll be honest with you this morning. Um, I have the time, but I don't have the energy for this. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Hello, my name is Linnea Ann, also known as Mimi, also known as Ann, also known as Miss Blobfish, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video you are watching right now, as you can probably tell, my energy level is... Um, and that is a couple of reasons. Um, for the last week, I have not been allowed to take any of my medication. Um... <laughs> And today, later today, um, if you're watching this on the day it's posted, if you're watching this on Tuesday, I believe it's the last Tuesday of February, um, I have something called a scope today. Um, it's actually called a colonoscopy, <laughs> um, but I'm, they're going down my throat today and seeing what's up um well actually seeing what's down um a lot of you guys know if you've been following around uh following along with my community page um as well as my journey I have something called Barrett's esophagus um it was explained to me that I have a bump at the end of my esophagus that is caused by the stomach lining for my stomach going into my esophagus. Um, that's what I was told. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what I was told. And it's precancerous. So I have to get it checked out every three years. To make sure it does not turn into cancer. And today's that three year mark. Um, what makes it really hard is. I can't eat until I have my appointment. I can't drink anything, I believe including water, <laughs> until my appointment. I woke up feeling thirsty this morning. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything about that. I'll just swallow my spit. <laughs> swallow my saliva. <laughs> and this is not a bad thing, you know, like, we need this sometimes. I'm excited about afterwards because... Uh, uh, I'm gonna go out to eat afterwards. We're not gonna go anything, go do anything fancy. I'm just gonna need food afterwards. It's gonna be dinner time by the time this is all done. And my grandmother suggested that I treat it kind of like fast, like my Bible, my uh, my faith based fasting. Um, I am gonna do Bible readings for you guys, uh, in a little bit. I might even take a nap. Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> Me taking a nap. But I did go to sleep like 1 o'clock this morning. So I might need one. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just wanted to make this video. Just me rambling, of course. Um, talking about some stuff. Um... I forgot to put my eye drops in. I need to do that. One second. Uh, as you guys know, I still have catacunus. I found out that it's now in my right eye, not just my left eye. There's nothing we can do about that. The eye drops is not for my catacunus. The eye drops are for, are for the scarring on my left eye from, from when the skin came off. A lot of you are probably thinking, or want to say to me, you have all these health issues, you better get your weight back down. A lot of the health issues I have won't go away just because my weight goes back down. The GERD won't go away just because my weight goes back down. The Barrett's won't go away just because my weight goes down. The catacunus, I don't even think that has anything to do with my weight. It has to do with my eye rubbing. And it being part of my stimming behavior, which sucks because I don't know how to adjust it. Uh, everybody's like, just stop eyebrow big. And I'm like, how do you, how do you override 
28 years of doing so. I've been doing it my whole life. My whole life. So how am I supposed to override that? How am I supposed to override that that programming that I, I've had my whole life? Um, and you can say just stop all you want, but when it's a habit that's... When you have a mind like I do, and it's a habit, how do you change that? Um, oh, um, for the Love Forever Project stuff, uh, I've been doing a lot of, like, Christian music covers on Instagram. I'm debating whether or not that's actually a good idea. Um, just because initially I wanted it to be just Bible readings. <sighs> But we still do the Bible readings on Instagram and on Facebook for anybody who wants to have access to that. I just do my best not to advertise my YouTube channel on either platform. And I know there's some updates that I have to give once in a while. And I try to make sure those updates are on both those pages um, as well. So it kind of advertises the channel here. But I don't want that. Um, my personal YouTube channel is Personal Gain, I'll be honest. Um, and I say personal gain in the way of, right now I don't earn money from YouTube, but there's a chance that that will become a thing again, because I used to earn money from YouTube and TikTok back in the day, so there's a chance of that again. But, but the Love Forever Project stuff is its own thing. I don't want to earn money for my personal gain or anything for the Love Forever Project. Any money that's given in love and kindness to the Love Forever Project goes into kindness projects and people. Uh, people are not projects. And that's, I believe that, that also it's people over projects. Meaning that if somebody needs help in my local community, the money goes from, no longer goes to a kindness project. It goes to whoever needs the money. We've we've had a lot happen in our local community. In the last um, seven years I've been here, there has been two murder cases here, um, as well as uh, a lot of people's homes have burnt down. Um, there's been casualties due to buggy incidents. If you know where I live, you know. Um, why I'm talk talking about that. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of that lately. Um, and I say lately because the second murder case was within last month. Um, the first one was like five, uh, four or five years ago. And it's interesting because nobody remembers it. Nobody remembers, um, the body being found here where I live. Uh, they don't remember it. Um, but that's because a lot of people have just moved in and are new to the area. So that all they know is about their more recent one. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know these things happen and stuff, but it's just it's kind of sad and frustrating. Um, if you didn't know, I went to Winter Jam a couple weeks ago, uh, roughly a week ago. It was awesome. I got this bracelet and two stickers. Um, seeing Lindy and talking to them was amazing. I, God's doing some amazing work in those kids' lives. And they're Swedish, not Ukrainian. I messed up. But they're, they're such a sweet family. I hope one day I actually get to see them perform on stage. They were there they did perform, but I missed it by like a half an hour. I was so upset. But, I mean, you get what you get, you go for a fit. And since I don't drive, I had to find a ride. And my ride got me a bit late, and that's okay. They had stuff they had to do, and that's okay. Um, so, with the Love Forever Project stuff, I know I'm bouncing around the topics a lot, but I'm not allowing myself... I'm, I'm just allowing myself to do that as my ADHD is just, you know, my ADHD. So, I said, you're getting my tired rant. My tired, no energy rant. 
today. So, um, one of the things I'm currently working on, so I have over a hundred signs more. It's, it's more like 50 signs because it's like all the signs are both sided. Most of them are both sided. So I'm taking the signs right now and I'm changing them even though old ones. So this is one of the older ones that like, I, the more recent ones I've been getting from like Dollar Tree, um, I've been getting these foam ones more often, but sometimes I have to go to Dollar General because it's closer by, and I have to get these flimsy ones. But I'm changing the signs a little. They're still the same in the aspect of they're still, like, I'm not getting whole new signs. I'm just adding... Spanish onto my signs. The area I live in has a lot of Spanish speakers and a lot of those Spanish speakers are Spanish only. Now, one of my relatives suggested that I do German as well because we got a lot of German speakers. Here's about thing about our German speakers. Our German speakers, most of them know fluent English as well. Like they're fluent in both German and English. There is no real need to learn German at this time. Um, I The only need right now is Spanish and English. The area I live in, the Spanish speakers are Spanish only speakers. They don't speak English. So it is time for me to just focus on Spanish. Now if I move to an area where it's German speakers and they only speak German, sure. Or I moved to an area which mostly it's Japanese speakers and they only speak Japanese. Yeah, I'll switch languages based on where I live. But right now, it's only Spanish. And I'm usually using Duolingo right now to learn Spanish. But I'm also doing my best to uh, just talk to people in Spanish, write in Spanish. That's why I'm doing all these signs. We remaking all these signs so I can so I have a chance to write in Spanish understand the language a little bit better especially since I can't always have access to Duolingo because I also have kids lock on my phone for safety reasons regarding my past and I won't go into more detail about that by the way if you if you see any videos of me in cringe compilations or anything Please send me those links in my email or on Instagram. Like, if you see anything that talks about me in it, please send it to me. I know it sounds so self-centered, and it is. I mean, so self-centered. But I just want to see it. I know I've I've had I've have been in a lot of different videos in the past when I was TikTok famous. A lot of people were talking. Like, I had a guy who was calling me a nunce, and if you guys know what a nunce is in Britain. Basically, he was calling me a pervert for just dancing. I wasn't doing anything bad in the video. I was literally just dancing. It wasn't even about, like, my autism or anything. It was literally just dancing and him saying I was a pervert for being, at the time, I think I was, like, 22, 23 years old and just dancing. And he's like, you're on the kids app, blah, 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 dancing. And... You're such a pervert. And I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, uh, this isn't it just a kid's app. Like, come on. That was back in the day when uh, TikTok was still for like 16 and up. And I know the age has gone down. So, but it's not a kid's app. I mean, there's a lot of adults on there. Um, what else? Oh, if, um, my friend still edits the videos for TikTok, so... Just keeping that in mind when you you leave TikTok comments on the on the page that she ed edits everything. I the old the really old channel's still there. It's it's been five years since I left that old channel. Um, it's still there. You can still watch the old videos, but um, just because it, that was the hacked page. Um, what else? What else, what else, what else? Uh, if you didn't hear that, that was my neck popping. 
Um. I know my videos can be really gross at times because you guys hear me passing gas or me just doing normal things or see me do just normal me scenes and it might gross some of you guys out because you're not used to it being on camera but it's life for me so uh, I'm getting so tired I think some of it's because of the lighting I don't know if I'll actually get through the but I will I get through if I do you'll see them on Instagram and on Facebook on the love forever project stuff I don't do a lot of Bible readings here on YouTube. Um, if I do, it's usually um, closer to you guys' age group because um, I get a lot of kid people that are kids on this on this page. So I try to I try to be age appropriate with with them all, even though it says you guys are older. I know that's not true. A lot of you are a lot younger, and I'm 28 years old, so I should have more adults watching my content, but I get it. I'm very, I'm very childlike, so I get that a lot of kids would be on here. Um, yeah, okay, well, I'm getting so tired right now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. May he walk down the narrow path with you and lead you and guide you on your way. Jesus loves you and I do too. Sparkle on my beautiful and wonderful sparkles.